welcome back to my channel so this video is how I get my hair in a high puff and these are the tools that I use so these are my braids that I tried to do they're a hot mess and I already disclaimed that a girl can't braid so don't judge me but now we're gonna take some oil and place them on our fingers so the hair isn't dry and you don't cause unnecessary breakage to get them down so yeah i'm getting that on the hair too well not to get it moisturized because that's just oil but yeah and then we're going to get them loose now in this clip is when all the braids are down yes girl enjoy your hair oh i was itching so yeah i'm enjoying my hair being down so, um, now, time. so what I do is I spritz my edges around the perimeter of my head with water so that it's not dry and when I do begin to brush it, I'm not breaking it because it's moist. So yeah, that's what I'm doing and rubbing that into the strands of hair using my brush to brush the hair into position to where i want my ponytail to be yes girl brush those edges don't break them though but yeah i'm just brushing hair mm, yep <coughs> excuse me i have a cold that i'm recovering from so yes i'm getting the hair to the position where i'd like it to be so yep and I just wrapped that once. I didn't do it twice. I just went once and just had it there. That's why it's so loose because I don't need it to be tight because I have to go, um, because I have to, um, get everything all together, if that makes sense. But yeah, <coughs> sorry. So yes, I'm sleeking my edges down, getting the nape getting or behind the ear there because i know some people forget to put gel or whatever they're using to get their hair together behind their ear sometimes people only get their nape and their edges so yep i brushed the hair to make it neat now i'm using my satin ribbon to wrap my hair and secure it and after which I'm going to take the ends and secure them with bobby pins as you'll see me doing now. Secure them with bobby pins. Yeah, I'm chewing gum. Sorry. <laughs> Look at my mouth going. Gosh. Yep. And I'm fluffing my hair. I didn't comb it out because I wanted it to have a little definition, so yeah. Where I'm just is gonna fluff my it. I was control. looking for my edge cut. I don't know. I couldn't find it. Mm, and now I found it. So yep, that was a sample edge control. I actually have the bigger jar, but it came with my leave-in conditioner as a sample, so why not use the sample before getting into my stuff? So yep, I'm taking the edge control to yeah lay them edges isn't that what edge control is for that's why it's called edge control duh. so yep we are getting that on our edges now once, now I, once have I have it where i want it i'm gonna take my toothbrush wet my toothbrush i wet it that's what i was doing there and i'm going to lay and slay those edges Yep, slay and lay, baby girl. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, I don't, I don't know what else to say besides I'm slaying and laying. So yeah, if you guys would like to see like a wash day routine or how I style my hair besides doing this in the bun, then let me know. So yep, that's the end product and now i'm going to take my what's that called it's not um my bandana i think that's the name 
if I'm wrong, correct me. But I'm going to take my bandana and tie my, lay my edges, tie it around my head, get those edges laid. I left it on for probably about 10, 15 minutes. And this is the end product. Edges are laid. So don't forget to like and subscribe and see you guys in my next video. Bye.